Okay, so we did some hydro dipping this week, right? You know, like where you put the film out on the water, spray it with your activator, dip it in at 30 degrees, and um, see what you came out from Duncan. Um, after cleanup, when I dipped my um, Mac 11 lower, I just didn't really like my pattern. So I came out with some blemishes. After um, I noticed on the side of my glove that the wadded up, still adhering parts of the film just gave it a, gave the um, texture of the uh, dip a more swampy, earthy, mucky look which with the greens and the camo pattern and the um, heavy white background on a thin dip I believe that these on purpose blemishes came out and made it look really cool my whole um, theme with it was um, Patty's Day and And the similarity that this gun has to one of the styles that's on um, COD or Call of Duty. Um, I just thought it looked really cool. The faux suppressor is dipped as well, but it's done on um, bronze to make it look a lot darker. More like a earthen, well not an earthen, but a um, like a cauldron. Like an old cauldron. Because, you know, I renamed it Pot of Gold. It was... um. POC which is a piece of crap, but <laughs> it's it's functional, semi-automatic. Um, I wanted to finish something in gold. I didn't get to electroplate it like I had promised everybody, but coming soon, I will be able to send you an email later, so I'm let you know what it looks like. I think it's gonna look awesome. It'll like actually bring it out a lot. Um, On my uh, other piece that I dipped just for my control, because I'd never never done it before. And I knew that I could make something look like, you know, my art. Like, just using that dip, no matter how it came out, you know. Art is art, and that's what a Hydra dip is. Because if you're making putting something on for cosmetic, I mean, it's art. So, if you're putting it on and wanting to see the fundamentals of the, of the whole aspect put out. I did do another piece, however, on the plastic, when I got overspray on it, just the overspray from the um, from the activator, little bitty particles made this snowy look on it with the, uh, the way it caused bubbles. Even though I didn't have air bubbles, I got those little um, tears everywhere. But that was, I saw that, and I realized that I had done that on the first, on the metal, but it didn't seem to affect the metal the way the um, activator being on the base coat did on the plastic. I, I, I don't know why, but I'm going to try it again and um, see if I can get a control on it to see if that's what it was. Otherwise, I just need to have a brighter flashlight and um, better glasses. Um, let me see here. I didn't have any problem with any parts of the process really it was all pretty simple um except for just well it's a lot of things most things the preparation it's always the preparation preparation is like this big and then the dip takes that long i mean <laughs> it's just and the cleanup those are the that's the only two parts of it that um that I had any personal problem with you know it's just I it just makes everything take so long and I just want to look at my new dip so right now because I am an artist but but the patterns thing I believe the blemishes the on purpose blemishes as compared to these blemishes this if you wanted that pattern and that's what you expected I would be upset yes I'd be upset I'd be like look it's all speckled so. I do think that that was, you know, I needed to be redipped.
However, the on purpose, the art, if you, if you can accept what it's going to look like and you just want to do something with it, make it yours. If it's art, just make it yours. Like giving a tattoo artist is always best. Just give them artistic license. Like it doesn't have to look just like that flash art on the wall because I don't want the same thing as everybody else. Like I'm me. So like, um, When I do tattoos, I don't, I don't, I, I would prefer to do stuff that really, I, I have artistic license as compared to stuff that, you know, you know, people I've seen with this, uh, and, but this is all mine. So nobody else has that. And that's makes a firearm, you know, that's a firearms finish. Like that's the, that's the point. Like it's one of a kind because of this, like I, I wouldn't want to just see skulls and flames because skulls and flames is just. Everybody's got skulls and flames, like skulls and flames. Like you got to stretch it or it's got to be something or you got to do something different with it. You got to break it up, do something. I mean, chuck it back into the dip, like get the little squigglies all over it and all the little wadded up dip and, and get it back on. But anyhow, um, the um, fact that I can do that and I can mess it up and I can make it mine is why I'm going to do it in the future. Because custom is custom, and if you've just got a knack for for art, it's it's um especially if you're working on your own guns, like I, I definitely wouldn't do my two seventy like this, or I might my AR might get smiley faces just because everybody hates them these days. So, <laughs> but um. I will be doing, I will be doing them. In, that, that's why I will be doing them in the future. Just because there's, there's so much you can say and do with them. I mean, anything from smiley faces on AR because people hate them, hate them to, you know, hopefully I can get some portraits on some, some um, custom made ones. But, uh, and we can lay out, you know, our World War II pinups on our um, A2 buttstocks and stuff. I just think it look good. But uh, anyhow, I think that about wraps it up with my, yep, my blemishes and my, my process. And, uh, yeah, I'll send you that email, electroplating gold. <laughs> It'll look way better because then the gold bars look way better. And the secret is magazine. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to spray the magazine gold. So I had to, because it's a polymer magazine, I just had to put the tape on it because it won't stay like that forever. And that's another great thing with a hydro dip. You can take them on and take them off like Barbie's clothes with a torch or a blaster. <laughs>